Hello. My name is Mr. Wiley and I'm the principal of Lauren Grammar School. The purpose of this short presentation is to provide you with an overview of the arrangements for the AQE process. Firstly, in terms of the familiarization day and then for the three assessment Saturdays. If you're registered to sit the assessment in Lauren Grammar School, you should by now have received information in the post from the school. And if you haven't received that, and you think your child should be coming to the school to sit the assessments, then please get in touch with us as soon as possible. We're looking forward to meeting the P7 pupils over the course of the next number of weeks. And our intention is to make things as straightforward and as easy as possible so that everybody coming to sit the tests in Lauren Grammar School is able to do their very best and show exactly what it is that they're capable of. To help pupils feel at home, we want to give them the opportunity to come in and see the school and see the room in which they will sit the assessments. And so we'll be holding a, a short familiarisation event on Saturday the 6th of November. Now unfortunately we won't be able to do familiarisation in the usual way and we will have to limit the number of people coming into the school building. So what we're asking is that each child is accompanied by one parent only. But we're inviting the pupil and a parent to visit the school on the morning of the 6th of November. We have divided all the pupils into three separate cohorts based on their candidate numbers. So if you have an AQE number between 1 and 4,999, we would love for you to come in and visit us between 9am and 9.45. If your candidate number is between 5,000 and 6,499, then you're in the second cohort and you're welcome into the school between 10 and 10.45. And finally, if you have a candidate number 6,500 or above, then we'd love to see you between 11 and 11.45. We'd expect that your visit to the school will probably take no more than about 10 minutes. So you're welcome to visit at any stage during that 45 minute session. And what we will try to do is replicate as far as possible the procedure that you'll follow on the three test Saturdays. In the first instance, we, we simply don't have the space to have cars on the main school site. So car parking will be on the other side of the school uh, uh, site, on the hockey pitch over on our playing fields. So anybody arriving that morning should park over on the shale hockey pitch, cross the road, come through the top entrance and come to the doors of what we call our pupil entrance where you'll be met by a member of staff. When you arrive through the doors then there you'll be met by a member of senior staff who'll welcome you to the school and will show you to the room in which you'll be sitting the assessment. Because we're trying to replicate those test mornings we would like you to wear a school uniform and we would also like you to bring with you your AQE admission card. So we'll bring you in, we'll welcome you, we'll show you where the toilets are, we'll walk you to the, along the corridor to whichever room you're setting your assessment, we'll give you a chance to have a look around that room and, and, and see, become familiar with the environment in which you'll set the assessments and then you'll have the opportunity to leave the school through the main entrance and cross back across the road to your car. A couple of days prior to familiarisation, we're going to publish the rooming details on the school website. So if you get the opportunity for a couple of days before you come into the school for familiarisation, please go onto the school website, that's www.larngrammar.org.uk and along the top you'll find an admission menu which will drop down to an AQE section and there we'll put up a document, publish a document entitled 2021 Rooming. And that will tell you the room in which you're going to do the assessments. Now we're not going to list your name. Pupils will be identified by their candidate number. But hopefully whenever you arrive in on the Saturday morning for familiarisation, you'll be able to tell us what room you're setting the assessment in. Don't worry if you can't find it or you forget, we'll have the lists on that Saturday morning as well. So just a short visit to Lauren Grammar School and familiarisation. 
but it should give you the opportunity to walk through the process from parking your car, crossing the road, coming through the top gates, in the top entrance, being met by a member of staff, and then finding your way to your assessment room. The big difference being, of course, that we won't accept you, expect you to set an assessment on familiarisation day. But two weeks later, you'll be back for the first of the three assessments. So we then have three successive Saturday mornings when we will have the assessments in Lauren Grammar School. Saturday the 20th of November, Saturday the 27th of November, and Saturday the 4th of December. As you'll be aware, these are not Lauren Grammar School assessments, but the tests are administered, set, marked by AQE. And AQE will then be responsible for providing an age standardised score to the parents of each candidate, and those will be arriving in the post on the morning of Saturday the 29th of January. The assessments begin at 10 o'clock each morning, 10 a.m. each of the three Saturdays. And so we would like candidates to arrive between 9.15 and 9.45. I could ask you please to note that the school won't open until 9.15, so if you arrive early on those Saturday mornings, then please wait in your car until 9.15, until we have staff in place and we're ready to open the school for the assessments. And so the process those three Saturdays will be exactly the same as it was in familiarisation. We will ask pupils to enter the school via the top gates and come in via those doors at the, at the top gates. Unlike familiarisation, we will not be able to permit parents to enter the school buildings on the three assessment mornings. Once again, car parking will be on the Shale hockey pitch on the other side of the road. Or alternatively, and you may find this easier, you could park in one of the nearby town car parks and take the short walk up to the school. Again, if you're walking your child to the school entrance, we would ask that only one parent accompanies each child. And we would then ask that parents don't gather at the doors, please. We're trying to encourage social distancing wherever possible, facilitate social distancing amongst adults. So we would ask that parents don't gather at the school door. Whenever you bring your child to the school door, say goodbye and then hand them over to us. And we'll look after them from that point onwards. Alternatively, we will have staff at the crossing point to help pupils cross the road from the car park. So if your child's happy to do so, they could get out of the car, we'll help them across the road and they can come across to the school themselves. When pupils come through the doors, there'll be some hand sanitizer. We encourage them to sanitize their hands. Once they get settled in, they'll have an opportunity to go to the bathrooms, use the toilets, wash their hands and prepare themselves for the three assessments. The desks and other surfaces will be cleaned thoroughly before and after each of the Saturday assessments. And we have arranged the rooming so that pupils will be seated in rooms with pupils, with others from the same primary school. Now, depending on the numbers coming from the primary school, there will be some rooms where it is only pupils from one school. In other rooms, there'll be pupils from more than one primary school sitting the assessment. And pupils from different primary cohorts will then be seated at least two metres apart from one another. So we are still maintaining a very strict social distancing that doesn't exist in any other context outside school. Primary pupils are allowed to wear a face covering if they wish, but they're not required to do so. So that becomes very much a matter of personal choice. There'll be no requirement on pupils to wear a face covering while sitting the assessments, but they can do so if they wish. We would ask parents who are accompanying children on the familiarisation day to please wear a face covering when in the school building. On each of the assessment mornings we want pupils in their school uniform. I know it's Saturday morning but we're coming into work and we want to get the right mindset and that's helped by getting up and putting on the school uniform. Pupils should also bring their admissions card, a couple of pencils, a rubber, a little packet of paper tissues is useful. A face mask, as I said, if the pupil wishes to wear one, but only if they wish. And a little bottle of hand sanitizer would be helpful, but not essential. P 
pupils should not bring with them any other material. So no bottles of water, no food, no rulers, no pencil cases, no watches, and certainly no electronic devices like mobile phones or, or, or smart watches or anything like that. The only other items that should be brought in are those that are permitted under access arrangements. There will be drinking water available in each room for any pupil who needs it. What we want to do then at the end of the assessments is manage the, manage the departure of pupils in an orderly and safe fashion. So each day the test will start at 10 a.m. and will finish at 10 past 11, except for those access candidates who have been given additional time. Their test, their assessment will finish at 11.25. What we will then do at the end of the assessment is we'll take a few minutes and we'll collect all the papers in and make sure everything's in order. And then we will start to release pupils one assessment room at a time. So we simply will not be opening the doors and letting everybody race out at the same time. We're going to take pupils out in an orderly fashion, one room at a time. We would like parents to wait over on the other side of the road with their, at their cars, rather than come back to the school doors at the end of the assessment. And we will then accompany pupils a room at a time across to the hockey pitch to the car park to meet their parents. So we'd ask parents to stay over there in a socially distanced manner. We will walk pupils across a, ro a room at a time and, and meet them up with their parents. What we will ask is that, the, that you're patient. We will ask for your patience just in terms of that. It is going to take us 15, 20 minutes by the time we get pupils across the road. So just be patient and wait for your child to come across. If it's taking a while, it's because we are deliberately uh, doing it in an orderly and safe manner. The other thing that we would ask is even when your child arrives with you and you get into the car, please be patient and wait a little bit longer. You'll see that the, the geography of the site, the pupils are coming through the gates and we don't want cars coming out at the same time. So we're going to ask you to wait until all the pupils are with their parents before we start allowing cars to come out of the car park. The same token in the morning time, whenever you drop your child off, we're going to ask you to wait there until all of the pupils have arrived. So we're not going to allow cars to start to exit the car park until 9.50. And again, that just prevents a bit of a mess as some cars are trying to get in, other cars are trying to get out, and pupils are walking across at the same time. And for that reason, as I've said, it might be easier for you to park down in one of the town car parks and walk up. We will continue to share information with you about the AQE process on that school website and on that admissions menu, so keep an eye on that over the coming weeks. If you have any questions or any issues arise, then please do get in touch with us, lift the phone and speak to us, and we'll do, do whatever we can uh, to help you and to help smooth this process. So keep in touch with us over the course of the next number of weeks. And an issue which might seem like a big one to you, if you're able to talk it through with us, very often we'll be able to find a solution and find a, a, a solution to the problem. What I always say on AQE days whenever we have physically everybody in the assembly hall is the best piece of advice I can give young people is this. It's don't panic. This might sound a bit strange, but, but we hope actually you come to enjoy the next number of weeks and you enjoy the experience. But most importantly, stop, don't worry, don't panic. If there's an issue, let us know. Let us worry about the arrangements. So that as I said at the beginning of this presentation, every one of our pupils coming to sit the test in this school has the opportunity to do their very best and show exactly what it is they're capable of. So we'll look forward to seeing you on the 6th of November for familiarisation and then on Saturday the 20th of November for the first assessment.